What's up, ladies and gents? I'm your host, Industry One, and we're going over my favorite games that I have covered on this channel. Just a few of them, and I hope you guys have been enjoying the ones so far. Next up is Max Payne 3, and this this is this is a little sad because of the news that we just lost James McCaffrey, who was the voice actor for, and he's actually, I'm pretty sure he's the model for Max Payne in this game right here. Um, it's unfortunate. Cancer is a horrendous thing. And um, it's very, very sad. So we're going to honor him today by playing one of one of my favorite games that I've covered on the channel, Max Payne 3. Uh, this game came out, I want to say, in 2012. I was going through a lot of things in my life at the time, I remember. Um, and uh, this game came out and I was just blown away by how beautiful it was, um, the action, the bullet time effects and everything. Max Payne has always been a big series to me. You can check out all my Max Payne walkthroughs, Max Payne 1, 2. Uh, I even have a walkthrough, of course, for this, Max Payne 3. Uh, so make sure you check those out if um, you end up liking this gameplay. But here we're just going to play probably the first mission or so and uh, just kind of reminisce. I've got all the settings up to 100% max um, for show it off in 4K. I'm going to turn the music off, which I know kind of sucks, but some of this music can be copyrighted and I do want to make sure um, that actually, you know what? Screw it. I worry about copyright so much, guys. It, it, it sucks. If you want to support the channel so that the copyright doesn't matter, support the channel, buy me a coffee. All those links are in the description to help out the channel so we can keep doing what we love to do, but I'm going to keep it on. Because I want, I want you guys to see the full effect of everything from these games. So with that being said, we're just going to jump in here. And we're just going to start up uh, from the beginning. And we're just going to do it on medium. So this is more like a let's play. Just us having fun and, and reminiscing, playing some Max Payne. This place is great. Really comfortable. I'm just going to get settled in. Time to move on. Get on with my life. Yes, absolutely. said it was a long time ago let it go seriously Definitely more my style than Panama, or Hoboken, I guess. No, if I'm honest, I just got kind of bored of boozing. I mean, once in a while, but not all the time. You're right, it wasn't doing me any favors. Maybe I'd lost my self-respect, but it's back. I'm excited. Really. I really needed a new start. I think you're right. I think I am going to like it here. It's certainly... It certainly ain't New Jersey. It's my new life. Just like you said. Listen, if you think I can still do a job, what have I got to lose? Apart from the weight. Very funny. Ha ha. Yes, that is a fake laugh, you jerk.
Rockstar really knows how to tell a story. They really do. I do love how they kept kind of the comic book feely to it, you know, the way they're doing their cutscenes. Obviously, this wasn't made by Remedy, this was made by Rockstar. So I guess I've become what they wanted me to be. A killer. Some rent -a clown with a gun who puts holes in other bad guys. Well, that's what they had paid for, so in the end, that's what they got. Say what you want about Americans, but we understand capitalism. You buy yourself a product, and you get what you pay for. And these chumps had paid for some angry gringo without the sensibilities to know right from wrong. Here I was, about to execute this poor bastard like some dime store angel of death. And I realized they were correct. I wouldn't know right from wrong if one of them was helping the poor and the other was banging my sister. I'd arrived in Sao Paulo a few weeks before. I was working a protection detail for the kind of people who need protection in a town like this. And what kind of town was this? One where I didn't speak the language and they didn't water down their drinks. So for now, we seem to get along just fine. Of course, that was about to change. Hey, brother. Hey. How's the cocktail? Scotch. I never mix my drinks. Well, at least not on duty. Something like that. Man, that favela is big. Yep. Nothing like the view of extreme poverty to make a penthouse cocktail party really swing. I guess they call it trickle-down economics. <laughs> That's funny. It's supposed to be a charity thing. Drink and give money. I don't know. Something for the kids. Hey, listen, man. We better look lively. This place is a nightmare. They just got cowboys running security downstairs. Something rotten in the air. That didn't mean much. There was always something rotten in the air. The family we were protecting were local celebrities, rich parasites with delusions of humanity. The kind of people who end up in glossy magazines or body bags, depending on how their luck runs. So where are they all? I see Rodrigo over there talking to that guy. Yeah, I don't know him. That guy next to him, he's some kind of cop. Uh, I think, I'm not sure. Serious though, big end cop, anti-gang sort of thing. I can't remember his name. Who's this guy? That guy's a plastic surgeon or some kind of surgeon. Uh, tummy tucks and cock implants. Ha! <laughs> Look at Marcel. Still dances like a fool. Guess that's what a European education and a coke habit will do for Ricky Martin look alike. <laughs> that's very funny, Max. Oh, excuse me. I was mostly working for Rodrigo Branco, a local businessman. Built things, did some charity, had things named after him, won awards, owned things, people. One of the trophies he had won was his wife, Fabiana. She was hot and wanted to be dangerous. Some good genes trying to fight their way out of a cesspit. She'd married well and was now at leisure to regret her good fortune. They got along as well as any rich workaholic and his younger airhead wife tend to get along. They mostly ignored each other. She spent a lot of time with his cokehead younger brother, Marcello. He was a good time guy, if your idea of a good time was an expensive suit, a bottle of champagne, and nothing between the ears. The middle brother, Victor, had just walked in. He was a local politician. The guy was smoother than an oil slick on an iceberg and about as toxic. The rest of the crowd, I didn't know, but I could imagine the types. People who know if they drink enough, they won't have to feel guilty about their good fortune. Suddenly, things turned real ugly. Felt like our hangovers arrived right on cue. Pass off! 
that? You know what the fuck that was? Let's go. Things had gone Shit. from fine to fucked up in about a second, and now there were two idiots at the wheel. Clear. Oh man, it's just it's so good, right? You got this floor? Sure. Right. Look after yourself, bro. Stay safe. It wasn't my own safety I was concerned about, trophy wife or not. I'd said I would protect the girl. Wipe away the debt. <laughs> I love it, dude. Look at this. It looks so good. Stay down. Oh, you're fine. Okay. You want to get back up? It's true. That was the boss lady. Only this time she wasn't calling for more liquor in her cocktail. Don't be stupid! Don't be stupid! Let her go! Let her go! Come on! It might have been stupidity or drunkenness, or maybe both. But before I knew it, I was back taking insane risks, trying to save fallen women. Nice work. Now you need a hand? No, you. Who the hell's Rodrigo? I don't know, man. Thanks. Somebody's gotta go find him. Está tudo sob controle agora. Fica tranquilo. I imagined the elevator doors opening to a firing squad of muzzles. As far as I could see it, the one thing my plan had going was that no one else would be stupid enough to pull this move. Bronco! What have you done with him? get up against cover, but I don't know exactly- there it is, Q, okay, because it's not showing me like any of the moves. Oh man, it's so good. Once Bronco was out the door, all bets were off. Alright, I need to look at- because it's not actually showing me... Um... The controls for whatever reason so uh we're using a keyboard let's see here so we got move forward sprint roll shoot dodge is space okay q i think gets up against uh reload we got that bullet time is left shift tab for painkillers okay i think i got it at this point i had to keep moving Oh, that's so good. And the way that he picks up weapons, and the way that he uses them all is so good too. It looked like they were taking him out through the basement. Maybe I still had a shot. Rodrigo was too rich a prize for them to throw away. Sure, I'd have to work hard to get him back, but I knew the bad guys would want the boss alive almost as much as I did. Far ahead. Once I opened the door, I'd actually have to come up with a plan. The great thing about being famous as well as rich is the bad guys know who to kidnap. Another parking lot rattling with gunfire. Was I too late? Oh, 
Good man, Mr. Bronco. I think we did. You're okay. You're okay. Yeah, come on, get up. Come on, get up. You're okay. Come with me. Just come. It's okay. Vocês aí, que porra vocês estão fazendo? A justiça local? Que porra você acha que é falando com meus homens assim? Você acha que tem o direito de matar as pessoas a sangue frio, Becker? Cala a boca, cuzão. Continua dando multas. Não ponha o nariz onde não é chamado. Vamos. Ai, ajuda, cara. Chama uma ambulância. Me ajuda. Puta que pariu. fuck. You did good, Max. You say so. Don't look so good. Hey, what could be better, huh? The good guys are reunited, and the Commando Sombra are dead. I guess. So who's this guy? I don't know. Some kind of cop. Uh, different branch of the police. Not Ufe, but uh, normal cops. I don't know about this stuff. Politics. Everywhere politics. Shit, Max, you look kind of beat up. Let's get this lot home, and then I'll, I'll get you home too. Come on. Back home, it was time for some R&R, &R, the only way I knew how. So I was ready for bed. We'll do a little bit of chapter two. Remember, guys, this is definitely going to get copyrighted. So if you do want to support the channel, later, it was back to work. Check out some links Very in the description. Help us out. His dipshit of a brother out for the night so they could recover from their brush with mortality. Then again, what did I expect? These were the kind of people who went to nightclubs in helicopters. Fabiana had brought her sister along, presumably so she could show off just how rich and empty her life was. And boy, was she about to learn the meaning of rich and empty. Max! Max! I was speaking to you! Sorry, what was that? Oh, I was saying we get to do a lot of scrapes, man. <laughs> well, we're still here. Hey! Thanks to you, Max! I owe you my life. Boom! It wasn't just him, huh, baby? Oh, yes, Marcel. I'm sure you did a lot to save everyone. You were probably worried about getting blood on your stash. <laughs> <laughs> Very funny! <laughs> Thank you, Max. I don't know what I would do without my sister. Mmm, spend even more time doing something useful. <laughs> you know she works in the favela. She's the good sister. Oh, shut up. <laughs> what did you hear, Faba? More bodies turned up, more people went missing. But it's horrifying. Did someone say Buzz Q? Hey. I'm just kidding, but it is a cool <laughs> town, man. Hey, here we are. <laughs> Hey, 
love this place. <laughs> I love this view. It's a real chill place to hang, you know? Do a little business, have some fun. I need it too. I've been working far too hard. Like a whore during Fleet Week, as my roommate used to say. <laughs> you like that, Max? That's pretty funny. One, one of the things that this game was so good at doing was just creating this world that just really made you feel like it was completely believable. I think I might have an interesting investment for your brother. I'm going to do one thing here and turn down, excuse me, just a second. Turn down a little bit of the sound. I kind of have it a little too high. It makes it hard for you guys to be able to hear me, of course. Call him up, homie. I haven't seen him for a while. Now, one thing I remember about this was the way you start this level was so good because it had this big shootout and that shootout was so freaking fun to start because you like, if I remember correctly, you're jumping out of like the window and then you have like all these bad guys to shoot and you trying to get as, you have to get a certain amount of kills in order to be able to continue on, I believe. Um, but those little moments that the game does where it like puts you in these slow motion kind of jumping out of areas and stuff like that. This level was really, really fun. I remember this being like a really, really cool level. But it is a shame. I, I don't know what they're going to be doing with the new Ma uh, Max Payne series. Did they already film? his scenes like did he already do his voice work for max for the remake how far are they at the remake that i don't know so it's going to be interesting to see because we all know the, the the remake was coming but now with james you know not being here anymore i don't know what they're going to do or how they're going to continue with it nothing but the second best why can't we sit over there man oh, i love you but cloud you can the best cloud you fucking cloud you he is me very good this guy I always remember hating. He was an ass. But then, that's what's so good about these stories is you, it makes you feel. This place made me want to puke. I needed a real drink to deal with the electronic music and the robotic people. And the horrible dancing from the from the brother. Say, Max, you're a man of the world. What do you fucking do it, man? About what? What do you do about life? <laughs> Look at me, I'm standing in a nightclub, listening to music I can't stand. I'm 5,000 miles from home, I'm armed and I'm drinking. You don't want to listen to advice from me, and <laughs> oh, man. He's got a good point. Man, you're fucking real, you know? Oh, shit, people. Fuck them, people get me wrong. <sighs> I think... I think I love a wrong woman. Oh, excuse me. Fabio! Fabio! <laughs> blah, 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 blah. <laughs> I didn't want that to show up. Thank God he has left. A minute more of his drivel and I would have had to put a bullet in him myself. It soon turned out I wasn't the only I mean, Rockstar is really good for showcasing real world and how people talk and all that kind of stuff. And I'm not a part of that world. I'm not a part of... You know, like GTA 5's world and stuff, you know, with all the harsh language. I don't say that stuff. Okay, here's that scene I was talking about. So good, right? Oh man! I had All right, let's go. Coming, but that was no surprise. It's hard to keep your eye on the ball through the bottom of a glass. So freaking good. The doors had been chained shut. 
I didn't need my Portuguese for beginners phrase book to work out what was going on. The guy making the noise was the boss. He was sending them around to cut me off from the other side. And sure enough, a few seconds later, I had some company on the dance floor. Another way out through the VIP lounge. Rich fools love a private exit. I mean, you cannot go throughout this game without jumping every five seconds. I mean, it's just too much fun. not good. Some guys took Jivan and Fabiana. What? Jesus, Max. Hey, I'm on my way. No, no, no. Stay in the chopper. We'll need a way out of here. I'll go find Got the him. girls. Got him. They, they came out there. They went that way into the lounge. Come here. Go, go. Get up. Get up. I can't stay here. I need you to lock this door behind me. Get everybody else out of here. Son of a bitch. Do this over and over again. I mean, the gameplay just it doesn't lose its funness. Nice, already. Uh, well, that's probably not from this. I've I've never played the PC version. Just so you guys know, I've only played it like maybe once or twice, and just probably a few times. I never got anywhere story-wise because I, if I'm not mistaken, I did uh, console version. <laughs> yeah, I did the 360 version when I did my playthrough. Hello. Still alive, at least. This crew was starting to look a lot like friends of the gate crashers at last week's party. These guys had some real issues with the Broncos. They were back to finish the job. I figured it was time to start doing mine. Oh! Ooh, dang. That was nice. And I always love shooting after the fact that he's already in and going down. I think it could be collectible. No, no collect. I'm not even sure if there's actually any. There is. I see a weapon there. Yeah, so we can grab that. Golden gun. Look at us. Second guessing myself. I had to hurry or I'd lose them. <clears throat> it must be, a, I think, wasn't like Golden Gun parts or something like that? Like you would get they like individual in parts. Pad. I had to get to the roof before Giovanna and Fabiana left on a one-way flight. I knew this was going to be a bad idea, but in the continued absence of any good ones, I decided to go with it. <laughs> What a view. I guess my time in Sao Paulo wasn't quite the paid holiday in the sun I'd been promised. At least I was getting shot at by a good class of psychopath. These guys weren't messing around. This place was like Baghdad with G-strings. A 
couple of more seconds and I'd have given some poor street cleaner a crappy start to his day. Now, I had a ride to catch. Pull me up, Bob, and I want you down! That's all I said! Come on, come on! Jesus, Max, I can't leave you alone for five minutes! What the hell happened in there? They jumped us! Same guys from the party, I think. They grabbed the girls, and, and Marcelo, but he's here now. Now, don't worry about me, homie. I'm just the guy paying you lots of money to protect me. Yeah, what were you drinking? Bet your ass I was. You try staying in there for five minutes sober. Oi, oi, look, there they are. Make sure. <laughs> Stay to the side, Passos. Get us down there. All right. I'm headed to the helipad. Shit. Oh, look out! Back! 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 The gameplay is so good. I can't let go. Oh! Oh! And you really went everywhere in this game. There was a there really bayou, there was freaking school. back in the old New Pretty Jersey. I mean, you went everywhere. Bad. Or maybe they just assumed the Bronco security team consisted of more than a drunk American has been and a Brazilian never was who should have paid more attention in flying school. Either way, I needed to find Giovanna before they did.
finally caught it. We were trying to go a little too fast, it looks like, so. Gotta be careful. I don't know where. Okay. And I'm dead. I will micro world. <laughs> oh man. Sometimes you get a little too uh, rambunctious. Kind of move slow. There's no rush. Odds on Giovanna still being alive were getting worse by the second, and if Fabiana wasn't dead already, I was guessing pretty soon she'd start wishing she was. I was up for one god-awful performance review. This was a mess. Where the hell was Passos? Giovanna! Giovanna! Max! Over here! What's happening? Where were you? Are you all right? What do I look all right? Uh, don't worry, we're gonna get you out of here. Passos, where is he? Is he okay? Had to make a quick detour. He's fine. He's right there. Oh my God, it's Raul. Giovanna, what are you doing? Giovanna. Ah. <coughs> hey, no, nothing. Go. Seems like I wasn't the only guy around here who had taken his eye off the ball. Are you okay? My weakness was the drink. Passos was the sister. Things were turning pretty ugly in this town. The boss's girl was gone, and part of me wished I was too. Uh. <laughs> you know, you play these games and you, you kind of want to, you think you're a badass when you go and shoot dodge and 
and all that kind of stuff. But you really do sometimes in this game in particular, got to take your time and get against cover and be smart. You don't, it's not like the original Max Payne games where it was just go from one to the other and just keep going and move fast. You know, it's a lot slower paced kind of, um, die really, really quickly, even on the normal difficulty. Well, what choice do we have? We have never paid out ransoms before. But I don't know. I don't like the feeling of this. What about you, Max? I don't know. I, I'm no expert on hostage negotiations. I, I know people who are, but they're in America. We don't have time for America. I know you're right, Marcelo. It's not like I don't have the money to pay. Father made a lot of money. We have always been targets. We all know that. But much as it pains me, I don't see we have a choice. Maybe after we pay, we find out who did it. We have them... But we all know what I'm saying. Who do you think is targeting your family? Haters! Who can say? Life in this country is not easy, you can see that. I have tried to do business the right way, but that's not always possible. Of course I made enemies, but I've also paid a lot of bribes. No idea. It's probably that street gang trying to get a I don't know. People I know have tried to reach out to this group. Commando Sombra. They're not from any of the favelas around here. They're linked to the drug business. Now, what have I got to do with drugs? Nothing. Everybody loves money. I just want right. my wife back. <clears throat> we can take the money to them. What's he saying? Open the bag, show me it's full of money. Depressa, porra, depressa. Easy, pal, easy. Vem. Apparently, someone up in the nosebleeds didn't like the game we were playing. The money was gone. Then I was next if I didn't get off that field. The bullets came from long range. They were well-armed professionals and I was starting to feel decidedly amateur. You okay? Yeah. All right, let's go. There's gotta be a first aid kid around here somewhere. I've been shot more times than I could remember. But this felt different. Maybe fate was sending me a message, trying to tell me my luck was finally about to run out. Or maybe I just severed an artery and was bleeding out like any number of fools who got shot playing with guns. Either way, I was failing fast. Shit! At least one of us had a gun now. That raised our chances of survival all the way from nil to slim. Come on, Max, let's go. Mm, I wasn't a huge fan of all of the heavy effects, all over the place. but I understood why they were there. Come on, I think he went this way. Think about all the the the, the bad stuff he puts in his body, and it gives so this was it. gives you an understanding of why it's there. Money. My blood-stained 401k. A chance to drink for free while chaperoning socialites around town and making sure the poor people didn't get too close. The brochure sure didn't mention any of this shit. <sighs> Hold on! Wait here a second! Uh, 
porra, você tá fazendo, meu? Whoa. Looks like I missed all the fun. <coughs> you see there, Grandpa? Come on. I'm getting flashbacks to that wedding we worked in Aruba. Yeah, back to the good old days when I thought I might actually like this job. <sighs> Dumb sport. <sighs> hey, careful, my friend. That's blasphemy in this town. You okay, bro? Never better. Whose idea was this, anyway? Yeah, I wonder. Uh, uh, Is it bad? Uh, could be a lot worse. Here. Thank you. Uh, right. Mm. Here we go. Put the sleeve on, come on. Ah! All right, don't be a pussy. So what now? We make sure that the right clowns get the money. Who the hell you think that was? It tried to gate crash our little wine and cheese party. I have no idea. This is Sao Paulo, brother. Could be anyone. Uh, anyone with access to high-powered sniper rifles and trained killers. That's pretty much everyone. Great. So what now, Einstein? Well, I guess we get these Comando Sombra their money and make sure they know we did not try to trick them otherwise. Fabiana, she won't come back in such good shape. Come on, come on. The game, the gunplay and everything is so good in this game. Like, it makes me really excited to see more Max Payne. I still want to see more and more Max Payne in the future. I know that we don't have the voice actor, but I don't, I'm, I've never been a big fan of believing in that just because a certain person passes away who put a lot of love into that character and they're, they are that character. You can have those games continue on. But it is going to be very, very weird, obviously, without him. That's for sure. I don't think anyone's going to argue that. So what am I, the button pusher? Yeah. You're so good at it. Good job. I'd say go with the original Just character model the of um, should have known this wouldn't end well. Sam Lake. I didn't even begin well. It was hardly a textbook hostage exchange. I guess I must have skipped that class. Okay, come on. Let's go. Where the hell's he going? All right, well, that's going to be it for this video. I really do hope you guys have been enjoying the gameplay. Like I said, if I would love to turn some of these that you see here into new Let's Plays and stuff like that and have lots of fun. So if you have an idea that you would like to uh, of, of a game you'd like me to play or, or if you'd like to see more of this game, please let me know in the comments below. I would love to uh to continue some of these things here that we've started and uh yeah it's been my pleasure to bring this to you i hope you guys enjoyed and i will see you on the next one thank you so much for all the love and support remember videos are most likely getting copyrighted i'm gonna leave the music in because i want to show off the game and everything about it but if you do want to support the channel during these tough times then you can use my buy me a coffee link or of course become a, a member or a patron or use the stream elements uh the best ways to do that is, is of course the stream element link um because that goes directly to me the buy me a coffee does goes directly to me as well so it's up to you guys um or just make sure you leave like comments all that good stuff really helps the channel i hope you guys have been enjoying these kind of um, blasts into the past of what uh, some games that I've covered over our time here on the channel for the last 13 years. So love you all. Take care of yourselves and I'll see you on the next one. Peace out. Bitches.